Hello, this is Dr. Kilgore with Dr. Kilgore's World with a flipped math learning video. Make sure that you have your notes out in front of you and you are ready to write down our learning goal. So the learning goal for this video is I can convert metric units of length. We're going to talk about converting all units, both length capacity and weight, but our focus in this video today is all about length. So the guiding question is to figure out how many centimeters are in three meters. So in your notes right now, I want you to go ahead and make a table. It needs to be five columns wide by eight columns down. So go ahead and put your table in your notes and then press play and we'll get moving together. Okay, go ahead and fill in your headings up at the top of your table and go ahead and fill in this first column with the prefixes. When we are converting metric units, these prefixes are essential for you to know what they mean. So let's look at the first one. Our first one is kilo. Kilo means a thousand. So our units for length, we have kilometers. You might have heard somebody talking about driving down the road in kilometers. We've got kilograms and kiloliters. Now, mass is going to be what we're going to weigh with a triple beam balance. And then capacity, I know that you have heard of a two liter of pop. So that's what we're talking about with capacity. In this case, a kiloliter would be 500 two liters of pop. So the next one is not so widely used in the United States. We don't hear of hecto very often, but it means 100. So the length would be like a hectometer. Mass would be a hectogram, so it would be 100 grams or a hectoliter. Our next one is DECA, and DECA stands for 10 in our base 10, our metric system of measurement here. So we would have a decameter, a decagram, and a decaliter. Our base units are what is important. That would be like our ones place, if we think about this like place value. So in our ones place would be a meter, a gram, or a liter. And then we get down to less than one. So these are all gonna be like our fractions that we've been working with. They're a part of the whole. So deca, that prefix means tenths. So a tenth of a meter would be a decimeter. A tenth of a gram would be a decigram. And a tenth of a liter would be a deciliter. Centa is actually our hundredths. So there are 100 centimeters in a meter. There are 100 centigrams in a gram. And there are 100 centiliters in a liter. Milla is the last one that we will learn. And that is our thousandths. So there are a thousand millimeters in a meter, there are a thousand milligrams in a gram, 
and a thousand milliliters in a liter. So take a moment to get this chart completely filled out and then come back and press play and we'll talk about what this means for converting between liter between units. Okay, so now it's time to pull out that foldable that um, you probably learned that you needed for this note. So this is a metric conversion table so that you can use it to help you out. We're going to focus on the length part right here. So this strip is meant so that you can pull it up and down. Just fold your paper a little bit and cut these slits open. And then take that strip and weave it through there. Ask your teacher if you need some help getting that done. So the whole purpose of this is to, for you to see the conversion. I want to focus right on this small area down here at the bottom for a moment and fill it in. So our meter is going to be one. Let me see if I can get some text going in here. I think it's going to be too big. It is. So we'll just remake it. So kilometers, there are going to be 1,000 in a meter. Hectometers, there are going to be 100. Now, decameters get a weird abbreviation. They get a lowercase a so that they can separate them from decimeters. There are 10 of them in a meter. A meter, of course, is our unit, so that's one. We have a decimeter, which is going to be one tenth. A centimeter, which is one hundredth. And a millimeter which is one thousandth of one meter. So by place value essentially if I had one millimeter I'm gonna have one thousandth of a meter. If I have eight millimeters I have eight thousandths of a meter. And we convert by dividing by 10 and by multiplying by 10 to in relationship to our meters. So this is going to be your foldable that goes in your notes. You are welcome to cut it down right around the outside so that fits on your sheet of paper, and then come back and work some practice problems with me. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this example. So we're working with length tonight, so I'm going to stick with meters. Right now we have 25 and 43 hundredths of a meter. If we want to change that and talk about decameters, we would divide by 10 and we would have 2 and 543 thousandths decameters. If we want to talk hectometers, we divide by 10 again and we get 2,543 ten thousandths of a hectometer. If we want to talk kiloliter, kilometers, we move again and fill the space with a zero, and that becomes our number. 
So let's go back to the original number. We have 25 and 43 hundredths meters. If we want to talk about decimeters, we would multiply by 10 and have 254 and 3 tenths. If we want to talk centimeters, we would multiply by 10 again and have 2,543. This is all about using place value and our places to go ahead and divide by 10 and make my number smaller or multiply by 10 when I come back to the other side. So let's look at another example. I'm going to have 30 millimeters. So I'm going to get 30 in here. And in my little chart, I'm going to move it back so that I have 30 millimeters. But I want to know how many centimeters that would be. So you can see, if I'm just talking about centimeters, I'm going to divide by 10. And my decimal would be right here because I would have three whole centimeters. In this case, my centimeters would be my units since I started with 30 millimeters. So if I change this so that I have 75 centimeters, Need to scoot this over so that I have 75 centimeters, but I want to, my units to be millimeters. I would move that on over a little bit, fill this spot with a zero, and I would have 750 millimeters. If I have 50 15 millimeters but I want to know how many centimeters that would be centimeters becomes my units so I have one and a half centimeters if I want to know how many decimeters that would be it would be 15 hundredths. If I want to know how many meters it would be, I would fill my spot here with a zero and have 15 thousandths of a meter. So this is all about Setting the decimal, what you want your units to be. If I want it to be centimeters, my decimal is going to go right here. And I had 15 millimeters, but I wanted to know how many centimeters that was. So I could just divide by 10 and get 1 and 5 tenths centimeters. Okay, in this next example, we have four and seven thousandths meters. But we want to know how many centimeters that is. So we take our decimal and make our new units centimeters. So essentially we've multiplied by 10, 100, because there are 100 centimeters in a meter, so we get 407. 
we start with that same four and seven hundredths meters, but we want to know how many decameters it is. We divide by 10 because there are 10 meters in a decameter and we get 407 thousandths of a decameter. So let's look at one more example before we wrap up this video. We're going to look at the example of 9 kilometers. We are sitting at nine kilometers and we wanna know how many meters that is. So we multiply by 10, 100, 1,000, because there are 1,000 kilometers in one meter. And we get the number 9,000. If we then wanna know how many centimeters there would be in nine meters. We multiply by another hundred. Fill these spaces with zeros and we get 900,000 centimeters in nine kilometers. So I hope that this video has helped you to see how to convert between metric units. This video has focused on length. However, the same skills are used for capacity, like liters, as well as mass or weight, which is grams. So good luck in your practice today, and I will see you in the next video.